Well, hello everyone. This is Heartthrob Handsome Rob. And I just had to come to you guys and vlog. I had to vlog this. I was sitting, I'm watching me TV. I watch me TV almost every day. So I'm watching Wagon Train. It's a classic, classic series that was on television a long time ago. However, <clears throat> there was a character on the Wagon Train. She's escaping a mental institution. And she was telling a story to one of the one of the guys that lead the wagon train. And in the story, she was talking about how one of the one of her patients, and she said the, the, the institution or the hospital was more like a prison. And it really made me think when she said prison. Because you know, of course I was in prison for 13 years. You know, like I was saying, ask to institutionalize. This is one of those this is this right here i'm putting it on there this is this is what it's going to be asked to institutionalize so the lady said one of the patients that was there with her it was like 30 women and they were all in like a small room and she would listen to the women scream and yell the prison is kind of like that but not so extreme you know but it is they do scream and yell a lot in prison however so <clears throat> the lady was like one of the they scream and yell, moan, and she said she couldn't believe she thought she would never get used to it. However, she got used to it. And you know, she became jaded and you become selfless, however, you become heartless as well. And that's what she she had became being in this institution that she was in. That's what it is. These these institutions, the they they make you jaded and heartless. How are you become selfless? Because you're not about yourself. You're about the, the next man, of course. The, the, you know, the person that's there with you, the next inmate, the convict, whatever, whichever you want to call it. I say convict. But a lot of people aren't convicts. They're more inmates now. That's the inmate mentality now, the way it is now. Well, anyway, <clears throat> she said one of the patients had... They had locked for, for punishment because she was screaming so much. They locked her outside in the cold and they forgot about her. The doc, the, I guess the people that ran the asylum, the, the institution, they forgot about her. And she, her, she froze. Her feet got frostbitten and everything. So they had to take her and operate on her. And during the operation, the lady died during the operation. And the lady that was telling the story, all she could say about the situation was, now I can get her blanket because her blanket is warmer than mine. And that, oh, it just, it's, it's, it resonated with me. I'm like, man, that's just how, you, that's exactly how you are in prison. You're, you're, you're not selfish, but you're heartless. I, I, it's, it's, it's a contradiction. Yes, it is a contradiction, but that's how it is in prison. You're selfless, however, you're heartless at the same time. You're very conscious of everything. Because <clears throat> if you're not like that, people will take advantage of you and you, you won't get anything. You know, you have to look out for you have to look out for everybody else, but you also have to look out for yourself. And it's very, very violent like that it's vicious it's a vicious situation and it just it just resonated with me i just had to vlog about it today i'm going to put this up today this was very very profound very deep and i just had to present this message i want to put this on me tv on ask the institutionalized comment me in the description talk to me about you know give me questions about prison because I know prison. I was in two US, United States penitentiaries. I was in one of the most violent federal penitentiaries, United States penitentiaries, and the federal system. And I was at Tucson, USP, in Arizona. That's very violent, too. However, it's not as violent as Pollock was, Louisiana. And I was also in a medium, Mariana, FCI, it's in Mariana, Florida. It's a, then I was in two lows. I was at Elton. It's Elton L FCI. It's in Ohio. And I was at Milan. It's here in Michigan. Well, 
that's all I have to talk about right now. And we're, we're gonna get more into this. This we're gonna we're really gonna digest this. This this is food for thought. Hope this made you think. And this is another edition, the very initial, original edition of Ask the Institutionalized. And this is Hard Five, Handsome Rob, and I'm signing off.